Hello friends, this video on body movements part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now finally the next most important part of the skeletal system, not the skeletal system rather the next most important part which helps in movement is muscle. So what are muscles? So these are bundle of tissues which have the ability to contract responsible for movements in the body. So these muscles they, they have a speciality that they can contract and due to the contraction of the muscles all these movements take place. But the movements which we are we have been talking about so far we told that the joints are responsible for movement. But what makes the joints move? How the joints move? So they move due to the muscles and these muscles are the real cause behind all types of movement. So even if you think of the rib cage, now as we breathe in, we breathe out, what happens? The, this entire region it expands and contracts and that happens due to the presence of, the, of muscles, due to the presence of a muscular structure. So when you are cooking, you are playing, you are jogging, so whatever activity you do, your parts of your body are moving that's because they have muscles involved in them the heart beats so even during the beating of the heart there are muscles the cardiac muscles which allow this movement of the heart so any type of movement is possible only due to the presence of muscles because muscles initiate the uh, movement and then due to the presence of movable joints so what exactly is muscular movement I and mean, how do muscles help in movement? So as I mentioned, the most important property that muscles exhibit is that they can contract. So movement is facilitated by contraction of muscles. So what happens is, let's say, uh, okay, to understand contraction, maybe you can think of um, a rubber band. So what happens? A rubber band, an extended rubber band, when you leave it, what happens? It contracts, right? Similarly, when you take a, a piece of cotton and dip it in water, what happens? It becomes smaller, it, it contracts. So that's called contraction. So muscles also have this property that they can contract. And by this contraction of muscles, movement happens. Now, this contraction of muscles happens only in certain regions of our body. So some of the regions in human body which exhibit muscular movement are movement of limbs like movement of your hands, legs. So all of these are caused due to muscle contraction like uh, when you are riding a bicycle, you are running, jogging, exercising or playing. So your limbs are moving. Movement of jaw, tongue, eyelids. So the jaw, when we say jaw, the upper jaw is fixed because you have immovable joints there. But the lower jaw is movable. So in the lower jaw also muscles are involved. Tongue, eyelids, so all of these move and they all have muscles involved. So not only these, you will also see that how exactly these muscular tissues cause movement because how do muscles contract and why do they contract for that matter which results in uh, movement so these muscle tissues are made up of muscle fibers okay so uh, when you look at the muscles what are muscles muscles are made up of muscle tissues and these muscle tissues they contain muscle fibers fibers are thread like structures which uh, which actually cause the contraction. So these muscle fibers contain contractile proteins, a special type of protein due to the presence of which it allows contraction and relaxation in muscle. Now anything which will contract will also relax. Like let's say when you stretch a rubber band. So the moment you stretch it, you know that it is going to contract the moment you release it. Again when you stretch it, it is going to expand and again when you leave it it is going to contract so if something is contracting it will also relax right so the same thing happens here with muscle fibers they can contract and relax due to the presence of these contractile proteins so that's the reason why this property of contraction is seen in muscles but not in bones or cartilage because they do not have this special type of proteins so in a way you can say that contractile proteins play a very important role behind our movements 
Now, this contraction and relaxation of the muscle fibers cause movement. Now, how exactly the movement happens? Because these muscles have the ability to make the bones move because we have already seen that bones are fixed. But these muscles are attached to the bones. So the moment muscles contract, what happens? The bones are also pulled towards it. So it is something like this. Let's say you have muscles, muscle fibers like this and you have a bone attached to it like this. Now the bone can't move because the bone is like hard and tough and non-flexible. So the bone will not move. But when these muscle fibers contract, let's say like this. So what happens? This bone gets pulled in this direction, right? So the contraction of the muscle fibers caused the bone to move. So in this way, muscle fibers or the muscle tissues can actually make the bones move, which can result in movement. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.